What's up, bro diddlies? Rich Knuckles here to break down a few Serious Sam 3 customizations for that ass. In this episode, we're gonna check out the different color scheme options the Mad Men over at Crow Team have laid out in Serious Sam 3. So let's just go into Ye Old Options menu and select Graphics Options and then Color Options. And I promise not to say options again for another 27 seconds. Feast your retinas upon this. The game allows the player to change between practically a million different color settings to customize the visual presentation of the game to their taste. And by a million, I of course mean six. Okay, let's take a look at the default standard setting with a short sequence from an early mission in the game. <sighs> Gross. Yuck. The cold color scheme is similar to the standard option, but with a greatly reduced color saturation setting, giving everything a wintry gray tone. Honestly, this makes me sad to look at. You goth nerds out there are gonna love it. The vivid color scheme is basically the opposite of the cold option, where the color saturation is greatly increased. Blues are bluer, greens are greener, blood is bloodier. It's like chopping up a rainbow into a fine powder and snorting it up your disgusting little nose. Now, if you really hate colors for some reason, the grayscale scheme is pretty much what you'd expect, as it removes all color saturation from the game. <sighs> I guess this is how my Peepaw Herbert saw the world after getting kicked in the face by that water buffalo. Makes me sad. Okay, moving on. The bright color scheme raises all four settings, with gamma correction getting the biggest boost. Areas of the environment that were already relatively bright are really blown out in this scheme. And you start to understand why Sam wears sunglasses most of the time. And SPF 700 sunscreen. <laughs> Similar to the cold option, the apocalyptic color schemes reduce the color saturation in the game. But here we have an increase in gamma correction, contrast, and brightness. Just imagine you're escorting the last pregnant chick on Earth to a safe house. That's what I like to do. The noir scheme is similar to the grayscale setting in that color has been removed from the game. The key difference is that the gamma correction and contrast settings have been greatly increased to give that classic black and white movie feel. If you ever wished LA Noir had less pointing at crap and more rocket launchers, you should rock this color scheme in Serious Sam 3. So that's it, motherfuckers. Serious Sam 3 is filled with visual splendor. And if you want to tweak the color scheme, you can get a little freaky with the options menu. Until next time, stay serious, amigos. Hit the tagline, Jeff. Knuckles.